So we were one of the first stewardship programs to implement rapid molecular diagnostic tests with stewardship interventions. And it was game changing in the management of our patients. We started with a test for staph bacteremia. We saw a difference in not only caring for our patients from a financial perspective, we saw a decrease of $21,000 per episode of staph bacteremia, so that was per patient. We saw time to effective therapy. If you get the right antibiotic on board faster, guess what, they do better. They get out of your ICU unit faster. As we continued to add newer diagnostic tests, we saw tests that actually did prove a mortality benefit. So, you know, it doesn't get better than that. So if you're new to stewardship and your hospital does not have rapid molecular diagnostic tests, where do you start? So to me, the first thing is you have to identify how will this test benefit my patients? So if we use staph bacteremia as an example, find out how many patients are treated at your hospital for staph bacteremia. The microbiology lab has that information readily available. And now you just do the math backwards. So if you're in a 300 bed hospital, you might have 50 patients with staph bacteremia. And then you look at, if I was able to treat these patients quickly on day one, two, and not wait three to four days, how would that impact? And you build your business case around that scenario. And you can use the published studies that have already done it as your template. You have to find where the highest unmet need is in your institution, and then you proceed from that point forward. So the role of an antibiotic steward, I believe, is multiple. First is advocacy. You have to believe in the test, and you have to know how to advocate for the test. Who do you advocate to? Your CEO. You have to develop a business plan. They have to understand the return on investment of making this new test available in the hospital. So a business case is necessary by the steward. One of the biggest obstacles are cost. Anytime you bring in a new diagnostic test, it's a new line item. So hospitals function with silo budgets. I have a drug budget in the pharmacy, microbiologist has a microbiology budget. But we have to look at this from the perspective of the hospital. So the obstacle was overcoming the cost of the test. And that could only be accomplished by talking to each other and really understanding. Individually, our cost may go up. The microbiology lab, yes, the cost goes up. My budget might go up because I might need to use a new expensive antibiotic for this multi-drug resistant pathogen. And the only way we win in terms of the economics and understanding the return on investment of this test is when we look at what does it cost to manage a patient with this infection. That's the number you report to your CEOs. So stewardship is the key to making these products become cost effective and more importantly, improve the care of patients.